Hello, hello, we're doing Pisces reading now. So, um, I have the cards already set up, so it's a lot easier to do the reading. Uh, the very first card at the top has to do with the energy of this month. Alright, so the very first card of the energy of the month is the Magician. So, my feeling with this is maybe this month will bring in a lot of, um, maybe wishy-washy type of feeling. Um, because sometimes with the magician it has to do with illusion or maybe it has to do with willpower. So I'm getting it maybe both, um, depending on what you're going through presently right now. But I feel like it's more of maybe you're going to find out some answers that you have been wanting and maybe it's going to take a lot of willpower to figure out what is it that you're trying to manifest in your life and to just really focus on uh, you as a person right now and what it means to you. All right, the first week of October, um, you're coming in with uh, the Five of Wands, the Temperance card, and the Justice card. So my feeling right away is uh, it seems like things will quickly come at you and will test you in many, many things um, with patience, with temperance, has to do with patience, has to do with, um, I feel like it's a testing card. So you may encounter some of these um, lessons that you're going to have to learn in that justice. Um, but it looks like to me with justice, I'm feeling that um, maybe you're going to get your answers that you need. So about the So with all these, I feel like, you know, something, something is going to be tested. Something is going to be giving you the patience to work through this. So I feel like, you know, don't, don't try to get sidetracked on what you want and to just be grounded. All right, so the, for the middle part of the week, you're coming in with Eight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and then the Death card. So maybe there's like, um, you know, you're dealing with your thoughts, you're dealing with the struggle of maybe a little bit of depression, maybe feeling uneasy, unhappy in your thoughts and your financial financial situation but it looks like your financial situ situation excuse me is going to get better and then i feel like with the death card it's implying that something is going to end whether it's in <clears throat> a relationship whether it's in maybe something the end of something so a beginning can start so um do watch for that um i wouldn't be worried with it too much but sometimes we have to adjust things in our life to make it better so i don't think anything negative with this card i just feel like it's implying that something new is going to happen if you let go of things that don't serve you well and so the last one for the last um month of october you're coming in with the King of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Six of Wands. So my feeling with this, you may be feeling a little bit down, a little bit discouraged, maybe dealing with some depression and anxiety and stress. But it looks like, I feel like, even though this is in reverse, you can read it which way you want. I just feel like, yes, you may be feeling dogged down by something or discouraged by something that didn't pan out but you do have blessings around you you do have um, your angels protecting you your angels working for you so I feel like with the whole month that you know you may have a little struggle with this month a little setback or things come your way but nothing is impossible to overcome so I hope that helps you Pisces have a great day bye